R.I.P. Jocelyn. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. She had like a bunch of drinks before. And then Dan, I'm. Does she has a sheet? When do I make these sheets? What the fuck? Magic. Also, why is it? I keep forgetting to change that. But that's a 20. Oh, yeah. That's a literal 2 plus 10 for me. Oof. Worry not, because since Danny's not tempered anymore, Vince is someone moving him, you can just roll him straight. Ah. I gotta admit, I didn't think I'd be coming to the Mortal Realm, like, ever again. So this is a bit weird. No Weird. offense, she just used your marsh, or do you, Audric? Weird is parse for the course around here. <laughs> you hear Mira over the next half hour? Ha! <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Speaking of weird, she looks over your shoulder at Vanitas. So why does he just have her out and about like that? You can well, feel bad as you a smirk over your shoulder. I turn over and I say, well... Would you care for a drink, then? I'm afraid I can't actually drink. Oh, I, we should remedy that. Hmm. Ask John if he has a way for you to grab a drink. Seriously, did I about that? <laughs> if I anyone can do it, he can. I will be right back. <laughs> so she goes off for a bit. Vincent just drops the platter onto the table. You know, you have no tact, like me. You know, when I brought you the drinks, I was very open and friendly and shut the fuck up and drink. Fair enough. <laughs> Make me another saving throw. Just straight this time, though. Ooh, there it is. Hmm. Weird. This doesn't... You can tell that it doesn't have the previous kick to it. This feels... You can tell. It doesn't feel the same. All right. <laughs> Jocelyn remarks. She squints at me and Danny, who's pointedly looking away and sipping her drink. <sighs> yeah, this is good. Did you do something to the previous set of drinks? What? I am absolutely aghast that you would insinuate anything of the sort. She says, as I roll, deception at disadvantage. Because she's been so sassy about it. Twenty-four still. Yeah, yeah, she's fine. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe Jocelyn can make her to no. know. My insight uh, modifier is plus one. I literally cannot see through that. I have no reason to believe you, but yet I do. Why would Danny do that? Part of the Fae charm. <laughs> mm, I guess you're just better at pouring drinks. Sorry, Vincent. I don't pour these fucking drinks. He <laughs> puts in the bartender. <laughs> Did you offend the bartender, Vincent? I've been here for literally an hour. A lot can happen in an hour. I suppose. <sighs> Sit down. You're free to get your own fucking drinks then. <laughs> I call over my shoulder. Hey, John, got any abomination left? I think... We finished it with the fire, so no. Ah, damn, that sucks. What the hell is a abomination? Did I get guessed by oh. the name? It's a bit of everything. <laughs> it's gonna catch them so... The lower half of his mask re in, into existence. <laughs> a sort of protective guard. Honestly, Aldrich, if you wanted dirty drinks, I'm sure Vermin knows plenty. Ariana remarks. 
Nah. Nah, I'm good. Are you sure? <laughs> it sounds yeah. like you want it. Well, let's go make your way out from the little tucked away cove and over. <laughs> she pokes at you, Marshall. All right, you okay? Oh, yes, I'm feeling quite well. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep, yep. Just needed to get some... Get some praying in. Uh-huh. <laughs> she says with a annoying smile. Sure. You want another drink, then? Oh, do you know I'm good right now? Four minutes. She looks at Ariana. What dirty drinks do you know? Do I know? Yeah. <laughs> Would I be the one making them? I mean, just a Velasca shrugs. If you want. Well, what are you in the mood for? Something, something strong. Ariana right, ponders for a moment. You could ask Roman for a bitch slap. I don't know if you're bullshitting me right now, or you're actually telling the truth. No, no, it's the truth. It's a drink. A bitch slap, or, depending on a different variation, a pimp slap. Holy shit, you're actually telling the truth. I am. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try this right now. I'll be right back. Well, that's gonna goes in between. Bartender, do you know what a bitch slap is? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Many types. No, I mean the drink. I... Oh. Yes. Can you make one? <sighs> Give me a moment. <laughs> Holy Marshall shit. Looks at the... Marshall just looks over to Duncan and be like, Do all clerics just have... Is this part of clerical school? <laughs> Duncan <laughs> shrugs. <laughs> Duncan shrugs. I assure you that it's not part of clerical duty, it's just a part of my own past. Marshall. I'm quite familiar with him. Are you like a bartender or something? <laughs> I was familiar with bartenders. Valeska comes back. It's this tall glass drink. Has a combination of green and orange somehow. She just looks at it. There's like a cherry sitting on the bottom of it. What the heck? It's real. Yes, it is. As I told you so. Watch your just finger. I guess. How, how am I supposed to drink it? Well, it's a dirty drink, so you're supposed to drink it as quickly as possible, because it tastes disgusting. But it actually looks good. That's why it's a lie. <laughs> she looks- well, let's go look to you, Chenomare. She goes out, you wanna try it? You've been good at sampling bad drinks so far. <laughs> if it's like, below- uh, yeah, no, she tries it. <laughs> you take a sip of it, and it is... <laughs> it is a bitch slap, alright, of minty flavor. Because oh. you drink the top part, which is the green part. She just, like, looks at it like... Top is mint. It's, <laughs> it's meant to be orange. Yeah. Something, some sort of orange liquor. Wait, mint the and then orange? Wait, the mint and then orange. Mint and orange? That's the most vile combination ever. That's exactly why you don't want to breathe through your nose when you drink it. Cheers! <laughs> she, she, she pinches her nose and then chucks it. Ah! Time to roll the saves. Well, what's the name of the bartender? Vermin. Vernon? Vermin? Vermin. 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 I was rolling to see if she would drink the whole thing earlier, not just the mint part. Did you drink the whole thing? She would've just done it, cause just like, she just accepts like, I'm not getting out of this not fucking drunk off my ass, probably, so. Fair enough. 
Then Valeska had acquired a second one. Still resolute to drink it, and she still failed. Good for her. Do I roll a disadvantage? <laughs> you roll a disadvantage because of your other drink. Yay! Fuck. It's vile. Mm. <laughs> oh, I breathe through my it's, nose. It's, it's, it's drinking freshly squeezed high concentrate. Well, I guess it's not high concentrate if you get it fresh from the orange. Orange juice after brushing your teeth with extra strong toothbrush paste. Toothpaste, not toothbrush paste. It's a bitch slap. The chair at the end it gives a nice finishing touch. It soothes the disgusting flavoring. And now you both know why it's called a bitch slap. It's just a good test. Trevor wants to try doing the thing where they tie a knot in the tree with their tongue. Try to what? Try to tie a knot in cherry stem with your tongue. <laughs> have you never seen that? I have! I'm just one- She's <laughs> drunk enough this time to like try. I don't even know what that is. Disadvantage. Perfor She's already got a minus one. Shame! There it is. Sure. Not no. one. <laughs> I mean, it's a You swallow the stem. <laughs> Not the worst thing that could happen. Uh. Now, I would do the same for Veleska. She notices what you're trying to do. The person that could actually achieve that. <laughs> she holds out her tongue and the tide. Damn, is there? Double knotted. <laughs> Double knotted. How did French braided. <laughs> French braided. Is that something you can teach? <laughs> she takes off her tongue. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh. Wait, dear. <laughs> Poor Anella. I'm going to destroy you. I'm going back to the sub table. You're the one who asked. I <laughs> Owen is like, we might as well just tint that image of Owen there with a red filter. And then it'd be more uh, color accurate. He is very pale, it would be very obvious. Yeah, it would be very obvious, yeah. <laughs> Nebby's absolutely entranced that you could tie stuff with your tongue while in your mouth. It's a very... It's nope! Weird. No other implications to that whatsoever, nope. <laughs> nah. Read the straight list. Is very there mean. something you need, Chetamir? Nebby remarks. Uh... Wait, yes, no, I did come over here. Uh... <laughs> oh, and chuckles. I mean, yeah, you're right here. I, look, I just drank things. My brain's turning off. Um, Danny seems to. That's a, hmm. She seems to hate you from what how I'm seeing. <laughs> and that's that's kind of it. Uh, is that like she seems to be okay with you? And I guess what I'm saying is- ME?! Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 himself. Me? No, she- Jeremy's gesturing at, uh, Nappy. I should have specified that. She seems okay with you. So I guess I'm saying, how- how do you do that? I don't know. I don't know if you can even get structures on that. <laughs> Nebby just, like, blanks and sort of shrugs. I mean, I- Danny's nice, I don't- I, I don't know if I- How would you describe Danny from your point of view? I'm curious. Well, she's very blunt, very honest, uh, abrasive, maybe. Um, but she's very genuine. And she's very caring in her own way. Hmm. So maybe it's not that she doesn't like me, it's that. I don't fully understand her personality, and she's just acting normal? Maybe? Yeah. Maybe shrugs. Well, she certainly acts a bit different with you, but... Uh, I think it's like a trial I think fire situation. Something like that. I think she just simply cares too much for an Ella. Oh. Maybe a bit too much. 
Let's pick that up. I think I can't get... That makes me well, probably bad so much. So, all you gotta do is just prove that you're worthy of dating Anilla. Owen remarks. I'm sure you can do it. You take a D... What is it? D4 for a level 1 bard? A D6? I think. D6. I think. D6. Take a D6 of inspiration. For Owen. Thanks. Um, Someone disconnected. Fred disconnected. He died. How would you R. start a conversation with her? So I have ideas. I mean, I mean, if Uncle's any indication, when someone's drinking, you just go up to them and drink with them. But I don't like being drunk. Aren't it's you already drunk? I'm already an S. I don't need it to be worse. If I mean, it can't get much worse than it is right now, I think. You don't understand. Last time, I got blackout drunk. Somebody's dog went missing, and I was woken up in a tree. <laughs> well, don't get blackout drunk, then. <laughs> it's not- it's not that far away. And... I'm dating a pink fairy, and her sister's there, <sighs> and I'm expecting things to get much worse than it before it gets better. You know, that's a good point. But from the looks of it, he looks up and down. I don't think it can get any better, so you might as well get to it now. Look over to Nevi to see like how much alcohol she's imbibed. imbibed. You've only seen her with one glass this whole time, okay. and it's still there, and it's only half full. Okay. Well... <laughs> Nevi yeah. is protected neutral grounds for spiking him drinks. Yeah. I, I, for I, now! I, I toss Owen a message. You should follow your own advice. Okay. What do you mean? <laughs> You'll Wait, figure it Uncle, out. What do you mean by that? You'll figure it out. That doesn't help. What do you mean? Okay. I am going to take my leave. And I'm going to try that stuff. Thank you both. At the very least, slightly different perspectives. I mean, if nothing else, you could try entertain Danny a bit. Try ordering one of those dirty drinks that Miss Ariana was talking about. Or order Danny one. She seems like she'd be into it. Oh god, am I gonna start drinking contest with her? I might start a drinking contest. She's already in one. Start a different one. No, at this point, Jonathan's tagged out. Like, she's already won a drinking contest. You don't go for two or three in a row. Sure. Danny is still drinking though, too, and Vincent is tapped out. The thing <laughs> is, she doesn't want to be near Vincent when she's like this right now. You know what? Fuck it, she does. Cause All right, so I I'll ask Vermin uh, here if he's. Oh, Chandler stole my seat. No. Ah, you, <laughs> you literally see this as like you're talking to Vermin and da Danaway like <laughs> nudges you for elbow. Um, I think Chandler stole your seat. I guess that's my victory then. I mean, I yes. grab chair. You guys can't sit on the diagonal. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Nah, nah, it's good. Um, uh, I like how Marsha is on the table now. Four. Okay, so I will ask Vermont, Vermont, if he's yeah. heard of the Spearmaster's Lament. It was a drink made popular in Sylphwall. I do. After there's. Oh, really? Hmm. Uh, lots Four. of folks travel. Give me a moment to make it. Kicks like a horse. I personally don't do these sort of dirty drinks. I'm not a fan of drinking them. I'm more like uh, your big friend there. The one that... <laughs> he looks up and leans over. <laughs> the one that's leaned on the table right there. I like savory he drinks. He also is actually... saves, saves yeah. money. He, I, I get sort of like confidential in my tone, but I don't love my horse at all. And I tell Vermin, like, he is actually the one who inspired that drink you're making right now. Oh, so I have him to thank for why this fucking horror piece of shit is so exists. Okay, great. Yeah. He sets it before you. <laughs> sort of tall glass reminiscent of like uh, the shaft of a spear. I do a quick head top to on the top, top of the... uh, some uh, cream on it. Cause you know it's weird. Right. 
<laughs> I do a quick head, <laughs> head count of the table with Shadowmere and Danny and the uh, six one four, five six myself and Danway. So I, I ordered six of those. Uh, <laughs> he goes back to making more. As, as he's doing this, Marshall just gets up and stomps on the table <laughs> and gets everyone's attention. <laughs> I see we are all having a good time here tonight. But let's not forget why we are here. We all fought. And he points to Tala and the Seekers. Some of us died. But only one of us laid down everything. And he raises his glass to Tevig. Mm. Tevig. Some people don't know who these people are. You guys inform the squad as to who he is. The, the fairies, the, the three uh, external fairies. The knights and Danny don't really know who this is, but they still raise a glass anyway. Tevig. They all sort of say in route to the unison. I certainly wasn't expecting that, Marshall. The deck in says. The man was a hero. And we should honor that. Are you sure he's dead? From the what you reported back to us, he sounded like there's a slight chance that he could still be alive right now. It is possible, but he was willing to go to the void to see us victorious. Duncan nods at that. There's virtue in that. Then Marshall would begin drinking his fruity drinks again. Marshall, would you mind coming upstairs with me? I can talk to you. Sure, I have nothing better to do. The same booth. Take a seat. I've been wanting to get the word with you for a long time now. Well then, this is fortuitous then. We can talk right now. I have my own things to talk about, so let's start with you. Obviously, you have something you want to ask, or say. Well, you were the reason I came to... was coming to Northrin in the first place. Uh, yes. I sent out a lot of those sorts of invites. Invitations. Not many people replied back. Other did you, but I suppose you just favored action over words. Well, it is not often you get an invitation from one of the greatest warriors in the land, if not thee. He holds, he like, does like a waving dismissive hand. Haha, <laughs> that's not true. The point well, of the great warriors. We though. both know it is. I think we have, you and I have different definitions of what defines a great warrior, much less what makes the greatest. Peerless skill. Hmm. If we're basing on purely skill, then yes, I am certainly a capable warrior. I personally don't think a warrior should just be purely skill. Which is one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you. But I'm assuming... Don't mean to cut you off for this, but I'm assuming you came to the north to... Learn? Indeed I did. Huh. Well... He sh uh, scratched the back of his head. Well... Maybe at a later point I'll be able to personally teach you some stuff. Obviously not tonight. <laughs> and he holds up the drink. Yeah, he has for himself. I think there are very few people that can teach this sort of fighting. <laughs> you can certainly say that. Although, if I were to learn from someone, I'd learn from Palvor Connor downstairs. I will keep that in mind. What is it in particular you wanted to learn from me? Eh? 
Well, I have the knowledge of Mamasa Astoris and Zach Navet, but... Ah, Zach. It's been a while since I've seen him. We met it's on been... multiple occasions. Oh, no. And the exchange, of course. And once in the Heartlands. He's a good man. How is he, by the way? Where has it been long since you heard from him? It's... It has been a few years now. Uh -huh. I send him money when I can to support his cause, but... We have a difference of philosophy. You know, I did that. Yes, I remember that from my interactions with him as well. Zatch is a very divisive man. I hope you don't hold it against him. No. No, but I cannot sit under him either. You know, it's understandable. I'm going to be honest with you. I came for one reason. I want to make this world better. Not like people who fight dragons and destroy evil. But I want to make those who fight better. Does, does this make sense? I can see where you're coming from, certainly. Although, I would caution you with what you're about to do. Not advise against it, just caution you. People you teach, the impact you leave, or they leave, might be grander than anything you can imagine. And that is what I hope. Hmm. trained you? I was trained by my father initially, and then by the Royal Guard Commander. And those were different trainings, yes? They were both militaristic, both very strict, but my father was very set on teaching me one way, and it's an effective way, one I still use today. But the Royal Guard Commander is unorthodox. It takes an innovative mind to lead a force that faces peculiar opponents. So his method training me was as grooming his successor, who was equally unorthodox. He, he just asking? leans forward, he's like, That's, see, that is what I mean. There are so many people out there that are trained one way. They know one thing. But in my travels, I have met hundreds of people with different styles, but they're, they're pieces to a puzzle. I want to paint the whole picture. Hmm. I didn't learn everything I know from the Royal Guard Commander. I learned plenty of things during my time, as I'm sure you're well familiar with learning on the travel. Learned some things from Palva downstairs. Me. Learned a good deal of archery from Cedric. And while I'm not proud to say I know it, I definitely know more underhanded ways of fighting from Valeska. Sort of... Smile fades a little. But... There are all parts, and if there was anyone who can help me get the broad strokes of this picture, I assumed it would be you. I am the only one that bothered learning from That's what you mean. The rest are happy with their specializations. I personally just wanted to learn anything I could, just in case I needed that, it. That, that is what I want. Because what happens when your specialization is countered by another? He has a smile. Well, in that case, hopefully I'll have family with me fight with me. See, but then it's not the best one who is winning. And thus we get to my definition of what makes the greatest warrior, Marshall. 
To me, it's not personal skill. To me, it's a person that knows fighting and fighters best. I know my limits. I'm certainly hitting them these days. I suspect I will as well. Just kind of shifts back in his seat. But I want the people who come after me to be better than me. So that's why you looked for me. That is why I looked for you. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't help you much in way of mentoring or teaching. I was never one for it when I was in the Royal Guard. That's why I had Ariana and Pavel. There's only so much you can teach to a crowd. Are you sure about that? I'm confident in it. Give me 50, 60, 100 men. Now, there's only so much I can teach each of them at a time. Give me one student. Certainly. A hundred? She said. Myself alone? No. Leads forward onto both elbows. If we get the chance, I would like to be that one student. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. If we get the chance, certainly. Although I feel like I might be held in too high esteem in your eyes, so don't be expecting too much. Oh, that I doubt. I am no blind fool to think you are perfect. But you are a wealth of knowledge that need to be shared. I'm sure that opinion varies from person to person. But thank you, nonetheless. He would pull out the quintage shard and slide it on the table. What is this? It is a wonderful gift from that which we thought was lost. This is a quintage shard. One of the knights of the sanctum resides in it. And as you say that, Dominic appears and does a curt bow. Duncan doesn't look shocked, but he does look very intrigued. His eyes are very open. Guardsman, Dominic says. Knight of the Sanctum. <laughs> You should let Cedric know about this. That I should. Now, I do have one thing to ask you. Ask? I, I signed up for this mission with no yeah. sort of compensation. That's actually one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you, too. What do you have in mind? Well, I'm simply wondering why you continue going on with us. Obviously, besides access to myself, there are other teachers in the world. And again, I know you claim that I am the best, which I still disagree with. But certainly your time can be in a more productive manner than coming with a group of adventurers fighting God knows what. So why do you why are you still here? Not that I have any critique for it. Well, if I'm going to leave behind a legacy, I'm going to need a good story. Ah, uh, the classic called adventuring then. But there is one thing I would like to ask, and I'm glad Dominic is here for this. Down, he just crosses his arms and tilts his head and closes it over. You yourself are a noble 
and a member of the royal guard. Come on. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I am no noble. A member of the royal guard, yes. Noble, no. Well, I suppose I'm not a member of the royal guard anymore. I was. For now. There are no more knights here. I would like to change that. I'm afraid I don't understand. He stands up. I would like to become a knight. <laughs> Dominic chuckles. He's sort of spectral chuckle. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that, that's for sure. And I'm still not swallowing myself. What does me being the royal guard or a noble have to do? You have to forgive me, I'm not familiar with noble customs. I'm not noble born, nor do I ever care for learning about it. Sounds like I was what forced. I? But the way I see it, you are the best chance for me to accomplish this. Becoming a knight. Indeed. Like the formal position of a knight, or a knight in skill. I feel like you're, especially with any gestures of Dominic, a guardian specter. I think it is only fitting. Not sure if you cut out. It's only fitting. If we're going to change the way things are done, then let's change the way things are done. Hmm. Well. If you're asking me to knight you myself, I'm not so sure if I endorse the custom, but I could. Not now, though. I don't think a pub is the best place to be knighted. stands up and slams his hands on the table. Then it is settled. Once we get south, I'll talk to you. Sounds like we have a deal. Indeed it does. He holds out a hand. I would gladly shake it. Three firm shakes. Customary. Three firm shakes, customary. Got it. That's not. Never mind. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, though, Marshall, before you depart. I'm familiar with your student, uh, Tala. I'm yes. Well familiar with Zatch. Do you have anyone else in this world? Or beyond, I suppose. <sighs> Cross that threshold. I guess you could say that. Uh, well, I have a wife, I guess you could say. He looks confused at that. <sighs> it was mostly ceremony. Ah, an arranged marriage, then. Sort of. It was more like she told me it was going to happen, and I agreed. <laughs> that is what sounds like a very strong woman if she did that to you, of all people. She makes sure the money I earned was not squandered. Is she still around? She is on her way to the maestro's. Uh. To meet us there. I figured with the way things were going, it was important that we be able to keep a close eye on her. I'll be sure to let Alex know that. No doubt. They'll be interested. That's one of the reasons I was asking. The people we go up against, Marshall, especially when we go south, they don't fight. 
They plan. They conspire. If they do fight, it will never be a fair one. And it won't always be against you. Again, you weren't here from the very beginning, but the waves you made, you're definitely involved in this as much as any of the others down there. Just sort of smirk at that. I know the odds are not in our favor, but I have always fought to put myself at a disadvantage. Hmm. He nods, smiles. That's good. He stands up. That's all I wanted to check. I am something of a person that's in charge of all of you, and... He gets like a forlorn look on his face. I try to make it so that no one under my charge suffers for simply being under my charge. The peaceful life was never one for me. It has its merits. But I respect that you see otherwise. Perhaps one day. One day. But I hope never to live long enough to see the peaceful life. <laughs> you never know. You never know. It happens very quickly. And sometimes without any warning. <clears throat> yes, they told me of your relationship with Ariana. <laughs> it's very... It's been a long time coming. It is good a fat old warrior like yourself finds that happiness. I hope you find ones yourself. I hope I do not. <laughs> you sound like Pavel. Speak out of them. Let's go back downstairs. I'm going to talk to these people for a second. But I will join you soon. The watch team. Uh, yes, up here huddled together. I'm sure they have a lot of stories to share. Mm, as far as I remember, watch team adversaries are not particularly fond of people that aren't their own. But you're free to make their acquaintance if you wish. I'll see you downstairs. He's walking. As he comes downstairs, Aldrich would be sitting down at the table with uh, Chidmer, Danny, Jocelyn, and Vincent, and he would say, This drink put, puts the drinks on the table. Has a bit of a history. Yeah. Has a bit of history. The people who inspired this drink, popular and so full and other adjacent places i'm sure the first one is my nephew over there and the second person is upstairs you see him as asmar just coming down the stairs though oh there he is see it's it's quite a the fight Versus him and the Sophalian Spearmaster. It, it upset a lot of people. A lot of money changed hands, you see. And it's not called a Spearmaster's Lament for nothing. The man died, after all. He was actually hired to teach my nephew over there how to fend for himself. He never got around to it, of course, because my uh, scheming uh, sister-in-law is... My scheming sister-in-law. That's what I called you a leech, right? Parasite, Chetamir. Right. <laughs> Keep up with the insults. I Gosh! Really thought there was something Urban about that. Dictionary, stay up today, come on. At the same time, Chetamir was getting wrong. Anyways. She also called me a thief, but she didn't explicitly tell, <laughs> use the word. <laughs> so, there you have it. <laughs> A drink with a bit of personality, two of, two thirds of which are in this room. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> they all love that. Mm -hmm. 
Does it taste like complete crap? Do you drink it? Yeah, I'll we'll drink it. Roll my constitution saving throw. It's uh, the taste of the feet, Chinamir. Love how you... It tastes like feet, that's for certain. Is it the uh, straight roll disadvantage for me? You're not super drunk, so it's straight roll for you. Yeah, it shouldn't be off my glass. It's a drunk spiral. It only gets worse. Why, why do people drink? This is terrible. You feel it now, slide it. Or her arms over her shoulders. Why don't Because, dear, they want to get drunk. And the feed is far more painful than this drink. Trevor just like holds Nella's hands and like leans into her. Bleah! <laughs> Danny makes uh, like a cat hacking up an airball. You okay though, Danny? Yeah, I'm just dying from this. And <laughs> she gestured it for Mighty. Shannon. How did this come about exactly, Justin? Remarks just It's like the Kermit for the frog meme where it's like that's none of my business deal. She's like sipping her drink while staring at you two. Uh, There's not much ceremony to it. Unfortunately so. <laughs> it did like taps his fingers and leaves. Cause he's smart. Avoiding this conversation. <laughs> Vincent, smart. I asked if she wanted to date. She said yes. Well, didn't actually say yes. Stuff happened. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. Great story. Wow. <laughs> Ceremony is overrated, I say, and I joined Danoe at the Kent's queue. Wait, I've never actually met you. Hi. She says Hi. She holds out a hand. I Jocelyn. Uh, she takes she her says hand. With an inclination. Because Danny's sitting right there. Well, first off, you can't do it after the fact, so God, too late. I just remember that. I'm literally slightly. Well, wow, you should remember beforehand. You think the fairies are gonna care? No. Please. Nope. This is the one I told you I told you guys specifically, you have to say it before. You can't do it after. You can't even I do it immediately. You said anything. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't say it before you said it. You're playing against yourself, not against me. Garth, this is when you extend the vowel at the end of the name. Chedemir. See, that's a way to do it. Because then I, I don't know. For being drunk. Can I As you that? shake Justin's... No. As you shake Justin's hand, it feels like a burning sensation. So Not painful, but it's like putting your hand really close to a fire. Like, almost like a centimeter too close for it to actually start burning you. Or having cramps. <laughs> I have no experience with that, though, so I'm not gonna say that. The, the summer night. She lets go of your hand. So you're the one causing all the hustle and bustle for... And at this cue, Vincent comes back to the conversation. And you can tell from the way he's walking around that it's not just the drink that's weighing him down, it's this fucking conversation. And having to talk in general. Uh, hustle and bustle. Hustle and bustle. Isn't that right, Vincent? I wouldn't say it's that busy. Uh-huh. It's busy enough for me to hear about it. Yeah, well, that's because summer has eyes and ears everywhere. And the same can we said for winter. Yep. It's just almost as if it's a balance. <sighs> so what's up with her? She's right here, you know. I know, but I still want to ask you. I don't know, Chetamir, what's up with you? Chetamir's <laughs> like sitting there, like, looking back and forth between the two, trying to send the conversation, figure out what's going on, and it's like, oh, hey, it's not me now. It's like, uh... And now I'll unslice herself from you. <laughs> Can I grab her hand and pull her back in? <laughs> no, come back. You could try. <laughs> she tries, because it's like health security blanket. Alright, make me an uh, athletics roll. At disadvantage, I'm guessing. Mm, yeah, because you're drunk. Crazy. That's decent. 
surprisingly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Like you felt something very pleasant to something very pleasant push against you before she used that distraction to unslip herself away from you. 